Hey guys, how you doing? This is Devin here with the High River Bassin. Uh, today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about the most versatile setup in bass fishing. A jig. Or a jig rod. You know, everyone always is asking people, you know, what if you could only have one rod and reel, one everything, you know, something that, you know, that you could go out and fish pretty much any lake with, what would it be? And I, I get that question a lot from people that are just getting into the sport. You know, fishing shows. I, I guarantee you I get that um, question at fishing shows all the time. People ask me, you know, what what would it be? And you know, as a, as a guy, as a um, you know kid that comes from a family that owns a fishing lure business, you know, spinner baits. We make spinner baits, buzz baits, and jigs. A lot of people always think I'm going to say spinner bait because you know that's my favorite lure or whatever. And I'm not going to if I'm only going to be handicapped to one lure, one rod and reel. It's not going to be something that you know, I'm going to just like to fish with because I'm, as a competitor on a tournament trail, spending money, you know, I'm going to try to get some back. So I'm, I want to have a lure in my hand that I know I can always, always, always catch fish on, something I still love to fish, you know, and that's a jig. You know, a jig is arguably the most versatile lure in bass fishing. You can swim a jig, you can run a topwater, you can, you know, obviously bounce it off the bottom like it's made to do. You can do so many things with the jig, and <clears throat> you know my favorite jig to use, and I, I am guilty of using other things, but um, is a Thunderlure jig. And like I said, my family makes these. I can do reviews on them. But essentially, what it is is just an arky head style jig. You put a nice skirt on there. You know, cut your weed guard down. It's got a good gamakatsu hook in it. So you're gonna want. <clears throat> you're always. You're not. You're always gonna want good hooks in your jigs. So gamakatsu is good hook to put in your jig but yeah it's a good good jig they're uh they sell at dixon marine you can contact them uh you know dixonmarine.com links in the description um but anyway yeah this is gonna be you know something right here that i always have tied on anyway but if i was on the handicap to one rod and reel this is what it'd be one bait everything so um and we'll talk about the rod and reel it's a seven foot medium heavy action rod uh you know this is an only only a little quarter ounce jig uh, so, and that's what I would have, just a quarter ounce. I wouldn't have a half ounce. Wouldn't be worried about fishing in deep water and all that kind of stuff. Because if I was only, you know, handicapped with fishing one thing, I promise you it would not be deep. I promise you, I would not be worried about fishing deep. I hate fishing deep um, anyway. So, anyway, um, the rod is a seven foot medium heavy. This is just an old Vandetta. This is like the first one of the first Vandetta series they came out with, I think. Uh, might be wrong. I don't know. I know it's old, um, but yeah, it's a great rod. Seven foot, medium heavy. It's got an Abu Garcia Revo SX on it. This has been a staple reel for me for the past couple of years, you know. Um, and I, I've took on different reel companies and stuff. You know, Shimano sponsors us for the high school series. Um, but yeah, this reel is always and this Abu, like I said, Abu is something that I've always used. But this reel has been a good, good reel to me. I really like it. So. It's a seven one to one gear ratio. I'm gonna be able to, you know, I'll be able to pitch and flip with it, swim it. You know, you can slow down always with a seven one one. I can run this jig top water, and what I mean by running it top water is, only thing you got here is something with a skirt. You know, it's a it's a head with a skirt. So really, you could take the skirt off and then have the little weed guard and put a horny toad on the back of it, or put something you can run top water. You know, swim in it, um, put me a grub on it, uh, so I crawl with flapping claws. And then obviously a chunk for pitching. You know, you can just do so much with this. Um, different colors, you know. This sevens to be one of um, a color that uh, I kind of custom here. This is a green pumpkin and black. So it's got green pumpkin head on it and black and a little bit of green pumpkin in there. Um, this is just a color I throw around here a lot, you know. Um, you know, I don't know how popular it is, but I kind of make it myself. I don't, I don't even think we sell them. So, um, but yeah. Now different colors of jigs. There's so many different colors of jigs, but to even it out to one color or to like three colors or two two colors, two colors. That's what you want. You want two colors. You know, there's peanut butter and jelly. There's all kinds of stuff. But the easiest way to just even it out, make it easier on yourself, is to get a black and blue jig and um, a green pumpkin jig right here. Green, black, black and blue, and green pumpkin. They're so easy, you know. I uh, colors, you know. I don't switch them up. I really don't. I I'll start out with on the day. Most of the time, if I'm fishing normal water conditions, good clear green green Ohio River water, 
it's going to be a green pumpkin. That's my favorite one. If something happens, you know, and it's they're just not hitting it, then I'm going to switch to black and blue. If they don't hit this, then I'm not going to be throwing a jig no more. You know, I don't, I don't mess around with any other colors. If they're not going to bite one of these two colors, then I'm going to throw something else out. I'm going to throw a plastic worm or something out. Um, now, with trailers, you know, I do mess around with a lot of different trailers, you know. I, I don't have them on me right now because I got a lot of stuff. That they're just not organized. But things I do like are uh, Zoom. I like to Zoom uh, Archivage Speed Crawl on the back. I cut that down. I like the Zoom Super Chunk. Um, I like the uh, Powerbait Chigger Crawl, the three inch. Um, I like the Chigger Chunk. I like. I just like messing messing around with different trailers. So I do mess around with different uh, trailers on my jigs, other than just switching colors. You know, like I said, I keep the same two colors. Um, you know, sometimes I'll throw a black co <clears throat> black color trailer on a green pumpkin jig. Or a green pumpkin to color trailer on a black and blue jig. You, know, you can switch them up different different ways, you know. But same with trailers, you know. Black and blue trailer, or just mainly a black trailer and a green pumpkin trailer. You know, you keep it the same. Um, and like I said, you know, that that's just the easiest way to do it, you know. And like I said, and there's nothing wrong with going out and getting a bunch of jigs. You know, peanut butter and jelly. Uh, that's a great color, you know. I'm not going to lie, I have some in my box because just trying them out. But over the over these, you know, I've been fishing tournaments now for like five or six years, and I've yet to see, um, you know, my green pumpkin not work over my peanut butter and jelly, you know, or my black and blue not work over the black and red or something. Those are just my two favorite colors, and to make it more simple, to make organizing more easier, to make you know getting in your boxes easier, you just go with the you just can go with those and keep those two colors in there. Um, so yeah, so I hope this video was uh, like kind of fun to watch, I guess you could say. Uh, I've been wanting to do something like this for a while. I'm just kind of estimating with kind of seeing what people like. You know, my channel isn't that popular yet, so we're just kind of, um, I, I, I like watching stuff like this, seeing what people think about only having one setup because it's a pretty popular topic, you know. It's something that, you know, I don't want to ever have to happen, but if it would happen, that's what it'd be. Jig, seven foot rod, and, you know, a seven one gear ratio reel. So yeah guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, be looking for more content to come. I got some, I'm trying to get it, I only record off my phone, uh, S7, Samsung, so I'm trying to get a camera, you know, so we can get some on the water footage, but you know, we'll, we'll see what happens here in the future. Uh, so yeah guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Devin here with the High River Bassin, and I'm signing out.